one of the biggest and best loved comedians on television, whether as the hapless dad in Not Going Out or trying to wind up David Mitchell in Would I Lie to You. But for his latest project, he's teamed up with Holly in uh, mm -hmm. a new show which sees eight famous faces trade their cosy lives for an ice cold adventure. And Lee Mack joins us now. Hi. Good morning. This Good morning. is very strange. It is. I've never worn glasses on television before. So but... do you want to explain that? Yes, because I'm having laser eye surgery oh. and they won't let me wear uh, contact lenses for a while. And I'm going to a place that Philip told me to go to. So if it goes wrong, I'll see you in court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've sent a lot of people there. You've and, had it done, uh, haven't you? I have had it done, and uh, I'm absolutely thrilled. But so uh, you're, you're not you're looking at me; you're looking over my shoulder. The, <laughs> I can't, I can't see you. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, this is the first time you've ever worn specs on telly. I think it might be. Yeah, yes, right, they look yeah. very nice. I mean, you won't get to wear them for much longer, but they. It means you can just do that, which is always a yeah. comedy gesture, isn't it? You know, at the end of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, it frees the fear. Yeah. I know why I wanted to do it because I'd, I'd heard a lot about Wim Hof. I kind of, I'd read his book. I'd heard about three cold chairs and then I sort of gave up. But what was your reason for wanting to do it in the first Just wanted place? to work with you, Holly. Did you? I was hoping you were It does feel odd. It feels like me and you have had like a little affair and now you're back I with your real husband and I've got to pretend exactly we didn't. The same. <laughs> Let me tell you, but I'm just looking the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted, I, I was a fan. A li I didn't know much about him, but I knew yeah. a little bit about Wim and I believe in what he's doing. Yeah. So I wanted to meet him and see what he could do to yeah. pampered celebrities. You know, let's face it, if you stick a pampered celebrity in ice, it's going to have an effect on the minute. Yeah. And, and it, it really did. did. It really did. And so, because we've had Wim on here a number of times, and have he's you? always absolutely fascinating. Did uh, he have trousers on? He uh, never wore trousers. Dressed, so he was dressed. Never yeah. had wow. trousers, just the big... For, the, for the, the, the guys that went in, what were they wanting to get out of it? Well, I think they all, they all had their own sort of stories uh, and things that had happened to them. And, in fact, I didn't know about this until I'm, I watched some of the episodes back and, and learnt it for the first time, you know, things that have happened in their life. Because me and Holly didn't see them they, a lot of the time. They were in the tent and they kept us apart, both for televisual reasons and COVID, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So we actually didn't hang out with them, did we? No. Um, I was just stuck with her. Which, uh, yeah. Playing cards. Playing cards, <laughs> which the name of the card game we can't say on your programme, can <laughs> no, we? We, can't. we call it Poo Head. Yes, we'll call it uh, Poo Head. Oh, I love that game. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good. So it we lot. did that a lot, and uh, but I think that they they seem to get a lot out of I it, right? I think what it was, was you obviously there's kind of the, the jumping into ice and then the cold water and stuff, the sort of physical fear sort of stuff. But the thing that seemed to unleash a lot of trauma and emotion was the breathing, something yeah. as simple as breathing. And I think tonight's episode is about the breathing a bit more. And we were quite surprised at the reaction. But it's one of the few things you can actually do at home. The cold showers and the breathing are the two things Wim always says you can do at home. Because mm. obviously a lot of it is you can't start going on lakes and jumping off cliffs and things. No. But you can do cold showers and breathe. Uh, and the breathing was unbelievable. Yeah, the Gabby effect had it had on them is, mm. well, you'll see tonight, you know. Is it tonight? It yes. is tonight, it is tonight. Yeah. yeah, the effect. Well done. <laughs> the job she, she did the admin. Yeah. Uh... Do you know what was really weird? So normally, like, in this relationship, yeah. I'm the one that kind of forgets everything, loses mm. everything, he tidies up my stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was like, I was, I've I never known... about you. Yeah, it was, I'm a mess of a person. I really am. <laughs> I had no idea. I until, had no until idea. Holly's WhatsApping me saying, you'll never believe what he's done now. Well, they kept us in separate cars, for, again, for COVID, so we had to, a rental car. I ended up with three rental cars in total. Just kept losing the keys. Like, so, seriously, kept losing... We were only there for about, you know, two weeks. And not only losing the keys, would leave all of his, like... Outfits for the next day's yeah. recording in the boot of the car, I was which you locked yourself out of. I mean, you had no yeah, boots. I was stage. just all over the place, but you know, it's she's got you. I know. So you're a, an organised man. I only had her, <laughs> so and she's you not imagine? your level of organisation. It's a wonder you ever got the thing made. <laughs> the blind leading the blind. <laughs> it really was. It really was. So that that. Um, I, I love all aspects of that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, uh, just I uh, have to ask you, I mean, I know the answer anyway, but yeah. I'm going to... Uh, you didn't feel tempted to have a go yourselves and jump in the I 100% well, did. Just I think didn't you were more say... tempted than me. We did do it once in the hotel room. I'll rephrase that. In the hotel... Spa. Uh, in the hotel spa. <laughs> we did do it once. We did uh, an ice-cold shower. There's your trailer. Right. Uh, I smell on <laughs> it. <laughs> we, did, we did it where we got the... the Hotel we stayed in had the cold shower yeah. thing in the gym. You could have a go of it. You mm. pushed the button and I think it was oh, like 15 it was, seconds. It was horrible. And you lasted a lot longer and I lasted two seconds. So that was you my... Didn't like oh, you didn't, didn't like, like the heights. You didn't like any of the staff. I didn't like... I don't mind the whole Wim Hof thing. I just don't like heights, cold water or breathing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm into the whole don't wear your trousers and just wear one of those caftans. That was fun. <laughs> Which, thankfully, you could wear a little bit more in the 1% Club.
Yes. Uh, so this is, uh, this is I've watched it over the weekend, absolutely love it. It's great. And essentially, this is the, uh, your knowledge depends on, it's, a, it's the percentage of the British public who would know the answer. Eventually, you get down to the really difficult The difficult 1% question for, the, for up to 100 grand, yeah. So yeah. It, it was, uh, it appealed to me because it's not general knowledge, it's yeah. logic. So it's, you know, with general knowledge quizzes, you, you know it or you don't. Mm -hmm. I like shows where even if you don't know it, you've got a bit of time to try and work it out. Yeah. yeah. And this is all logic type questions and they've been tested on a... I mean, they really have been tested extensively, mm. so we know what 90% of the population get right and then we know what 80%, and it does sort of work out that way, mm. where we're down to the, to the one person at, or two people at the end that go... Shall we have a look? Got right. yeah. Here we go. Which photo of these famous landmarks cannot be real? And your time starts now. My wife took these photos when she was on holiday. Hopefully next time she'll take me with her. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the answer. It's the Statue of Liberty because it has the London skyline behind it. Michael, what did you say, first of all? Well, the Eiffel Tower. You said the Eiffel Tower. Any particular reason? I'm an idiot. You know what's brilliant about that? It's not just the self-deprecation, it's the deadpan look at the end, like a man who's <laughs> just given up on life because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Well, there was, a, there was a lady that I watched who thought a polar bear was a cat. Yeah, she went out quite early, didn't she? She said she was going to go out early, yeah, but she said it was... It was uh, she obviously hadn't gone to the same place. She went for your laser eye surgery. <laughs> so, yeah, she But you, you've been on quizzes and it didn't quite go to plan, didn't you? Got yeah, I was on ones. Pointless once. Uh, they do the celeb Pointless, and I went on with the late, great Bobby Ball, ah. my fictional father. Yeah. And the question was, name a word that ends in son, S-O-N. Yeah. He didn't give it a minute's thought, just to the first thing that came out of his head and said, Appleson. Oh. Which is just a made-up word. Oh. Because he thought any word counts, even a word that he's just invented. <laughs> and we were out straight away. Do you still away. feel a little bitter about that even I'm now? I'm still a bit angry. <laughs> still a bit angry, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but all my kids came. My kids had never been to see me do a TV show, but they're obsessed with Pointless. And they got so upset that my wife gave them their first McDonald's on the way out. <laughs> And now they're phenomenally unfit, and it's all down to Bobby Ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's so, so lovely nice to see, see you. you. And you. It really is. It Freeze really the is. Fear tonight at 9 on BBC One, 1% yeah. 1 Club at 9.15 uh, on ICV on Saturday. Good luck with your laser eye surgery. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon, literally. <laughs> I, I do too. I do. <laughs> literally. There's a lot riding on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where there's, where there's blame, there's a claim, Phil. <laughs> you won't find me. <laughs> I'll be able to see you. <laughs> <laughs>